Hi, my name is Mike Meriton, co-founder and chief operating officer with EDM Council, and welcome to the EDM Connect training video. Well, the first thing we have to do is get registered on EDM Connect. And you'll see by visiting the EDM Council homepage, which is edmcouncil.org, there's a register button right at the top. So let me click on that as a first place. You'll see two options. If you're a member of the EDM Council, follow the instructions on the left side of the screen. And if you're a non-member, you can register as a guest. The only thing you need to remember is to use your corporate email address. So let's get going. Let's assume that I've now completed that process. I received my authentication email and I'm now ready to go. I'm now going to sign in. Once I click on the sign in button, I land at EDM Connect. And there's three things I can do. I can connect with other members. I can discover library documents and resources, and I can collaborate with other members on work groups and interest groups. To connect with other members, I'll go ahead and click on the connect action bar. This brings up first the basic search where you can go by someone's name or company name. I'm going to choose the company name option. Let's say I'm looking for a colleague at HSBC. I will type that in and commence the search. And you'll see below a listing of which members with HSBC are part of the EDM Council. And let's say I want to connect with Juan Amador, who's based in London. This orange add as a contact button, if I click on it, it will send an invitation to Juan, at which point, similar to LinkedIn, he can make that decision to go ahead and accept the connection. If I scroll up, there's the advanced search option. I can now search for members using what interests I might have and how that maps to other members. So if I scroll down on the advanced search bar, you'll see towards the bottom, it says member of group community type. If I click on the down arrow, I can select EDM Connect interest communities. And once I've done that, I can move my mouse to the right and click on which community I'm interested in searching members for. And let's say that I have an interest in data ethics. So if I click on the data ethics community and I click now find members, I now get a listing of all the members in the EDM Council that are interested in data ethics. It's over 200 members and I can search this list further and connect with these members. Once I've connected with members, I can now also discover all of the documents and library materials of the last 15 years of the EDM Council. To act on that, all I need to do is click on the Discover action bar. And let's assume that my interest is to get a copy of the latest 2020 global industry benchmark. I can just type in a keyword. In this instance, I'll type in benchmark and search. And let's see what we discover. I actually find that there's several benchmark reports from prior years. And then the one I'm looking for is right here, which is the Global Data Benchmark Report. Now, before I click on it, you'll see many other search refinement options for me on the left. So I can click by content type, by community, and more. But if I'm looking just for this report, I can get it immediately downloaded to my PC, which is what I'm going to do. And here comes the PDF file. This is a 75-page report. I can now save it down to my PC and share it with other members uh, or my colleagues inside of my company. The search feature also allows you to search for educational webinars, all of the DCAM materials, and connect to all of the artifacts of the EDM Council. Let's move to the third action, which is collaborating. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Collaborate action bar, and you'll see a list of all of the communities I can join and participate in. And I'll just scroll down the list to get everyone a sense. These will always be added to and updated, but you'll see things covering AI and machine learning, women in data, the data ethics community, the cloud data management, the ESG interest community. Let's assume right now I'd like to join the cloud data management interest community. I can see there's 217 members overall. And if I click on join, the first uh, platform question is, do I want to receive communications about all of the activities? And I have a choice of either a daily consolidated digest, a weekly consolidated digest, or I can get real time updates if I'd like. Let's say right now my interest is once a week to get an update of all the happenings within that particular work group. So I'll click include and I'll click yes, join the community. Now, good news is you have the opportunity once you navigate to the home page to go to your profile and change these settings to either get more frequent updates or less updates depending upon your interest. So once I'm here, I can see this is all about the cloud data management uh, work group and the interest group around it. And I can see announcements. Uh, a feed about some new news coming in around cloud data management in general, and an overview of this group and what it's involved in doing. And I can also join the work group uh, if I'd like to participate. So a lot of opportunity here within the interest groups to get active and to collaborate with other members. So good news with these three action bars, you can connect to members, discover documents and materials, and collaborate on work groups. 
Two final housekeeping items, and then uh, I'll let you get on with participating in the community. First is under resources. Note there's very helpful uh, frequently asked questions and also an opportunity to report an issue. So if you have any trouble, please visit the resources tab and look up other questions uh, and as well report issues. The final housekeeping item is to visit home to edit your profile and make any changes to your settings and preferences. You'll find this under My EDM Connect. Once I click on that under the home button, you'll see I have the opportunity to edit my connections. I can work on privacy settings. If you remember before, I indicated you can actually change your communi community notifications, which is how often you're updated from any of the interest groups. And you also have your inbox. And in fact, if you click on that, you'll see that I've received a note from one of my pals, Mark Sill, and I can catch up with him directly. So those are all the main ideas uh, to share with you. Um, hope you enjoyed this short video. And again, welcome to EDM Connect. Look forward to seeing you on it.